life on a farm in the early 1900s. My name is Fred Junkin, and I live in a farm in Verlum Township between the towns of Fenland Falls and Bob Cajun. My parents are Thomas and Annie, and I have three sisters, Emily, Clara, and Vinnie. I also often play with my cousins, Bill and Tom, who live across the fields. I have many cousins nearby, because my grandfather and his brothers and sisters all came from Ireland. Over 50 years ago, in Ireland they had been farmers, but they could not own land. They rented it. In what was then Upper Canada, now Ontario, they bought forested land, and by helping each other cut down the trees, they started small farms. I am 10 years old, and this will be my last year at school. My father says when summer holidays come, I will not have to go back to school. I will stay home on the farm and help him. I can read and write a bit, and I can do sums, so I have all the education I need to be a farmer. But I'm not good at spelling and memorizing poetry, and my teacher, Miss Kelly, says my penmanship is poor. I think I could write better if she would let me use my left hand, but I have to use my right hand, or she'll hit my hand with the ruler. So I'm happy to stay home. The first thing my dad is going to do is teach me how to drive a team of horses. And maybe when I get a little older, he'll even let me smoke a pipe like him. But I'm the only son, so my dad needs me to milk cows, feed the pigs, clean out the manure, and help with planting and harvesting crops. In the winter, besides looking after the animals, I'll be helping my dad cut wood. We need a lot of trees cut each winter from our woods because we need firewood to heat our house in the winter and to use in our cook stove all year round. We have three stoves in our house to keep us warm in the winter. Our cook stove is in the kitchen and we have two small stoves, one in the parlor and one in my big open bedroom upstairs. We also cut some trees for lumber, which we sell to the mill in Bob Cajun for money. In the spring, we'll have a sawing bee. My dad's uncles and cousins will come. They'll help saw the larger logs we have brought in from the woods into shorter lengths they'll fit into our stove. I'll have to build the wood pile so the wood will dry and be somewhat protected from the rain. It is one of my chores I do in the spring after school anyway, so now I'll be able to do it during the day. My dad and I will go to his uncle's and cousin's sawing bees in return for them helping us. We do the same in the summer for threshing the grain. The work is hard, but it'll be good to visit with my relatives at lunch and supper. The women always put on a big chicken dinner, with lots of carrots, potatoes, and gravy with fresh baked biscuits. There are usually two or three different kinds of pies for dessert. In late February and March, my dad taps the trees on our maple bush. I love to run around from tree to tree, checking how much sap is running. It's not quite so much fun collecting the sap when the buckets are full. We sometimes stay in the bush late at night when we boil the sap. We must watch for when it turns into syrup. If it boils too long, it will burn and it will be ruined. My sisters help my mother with the housework, the kitchen, garden, and the hens. Emma has learned to make really good biscuits. I like eating them with the maple syrup that we tap from our maple sugar bush in March. On a farm, looking after the chickens is the farm wife's job. All my sisters help, but Clara loves collecting the eggs and feeding the chickens. We eat and bake with eggs, but my mother also sells the extra eggs to the grocery store in Fenland Falls. And with the money from the eggs and the butter that she sells them, she is able to buy tea and flour and other things we need at the store. Vinny, who is the youngest, helps churn the butter. The least favorite job the girls have is emptying the chamber pots each morning. Emma is the oldest, so it is her job until Clara gets bigger. My sisters like school better than I do, and will probably stay in school until grade 8, and will take the entrance exam. If they pass, they might even board in town with a relative and go to high school. Emma is also learning to use a treadle sewing machine. She'll soon be able to make her own skirts and aprons. Our great aunt Liza, who lives close by, often comes on winter days to make quilts for our beds with my mother. If it is a Saturday, my sisters sit and sew blocks for a little quilt they are making. Aunt Liza is very patient in teaching them how to stitch properly. We all look forward to Christmas, 
we get an orange in our stocking and a gift from Santa under the tree. On Christmas Day, after church, we go to my aunt's for a goose dinner with Christmas pudding for dessert. Life is busy on the farm, but my dad is his own boss and he owns his own 100-acre farm, which his parents could not do in Ireland. <laughs>